welcome to another tutorial on AgDrive. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add all your products onto your AgDrive account. So to start off with, a product is classed as anything you charge additionally onto any of your jobs you might be doing within your business, which could be anything like chemicals, seed, fertilizer, silage additives, fencing materials or fuel. It can be completely customizable to your business. So first of all, all you want to do is go to products down the left hand side here on the admin view on the computer and go to add top right hand corner and you just want to simply go down this page here starting off by filling in the name. So this will be the display name which you see on your mobile phone app. Chargeable unit, depending on what product it is you're wanting to add onto your account, you have got the drop down option here and we've got a load of options there for you to pick from. So we get your price per unit here at the bottom, that'll just be a flat rate and you can always come to edit it on your invoice and then you just simply want to add product here at the bottom and as you can now see that product is now successfully saved onto my AgDrive account, I can now go ahead and add that product on whilst recording a job or either at the end when I come to invoice him. So you can also bulk import all your products on AgDrive here. This is quite handy if you have got quite a lot of products you were initially wanting to add on your account first. All we want to do, we want to go to import top right hand corner here. And then we just want to download the CSV form, which is just your downloadable Excel form. And it'll look very similar to this one here. So all you want to do now is go ahead and start filling your Excel form and all your products starting with the name, the cost and the unit, making sure you are filling in all the boxes here with the asterisks on. If not, you won't be able to upload it onto AgDrive if there is any missing information. Also, please don't amend any of the columns as it will corrupt the file and you won't be able to upload it onto AgDrive successfully. If you have any issues with this section, just give the officer a call and we can always go through it. Once you put all your products there onto the Excel form, you just want to go ahead and save that file onto your computer. Go back onto Ag Drive and click Add or Drop File here. Select your Excel form and simply click Upload. As you can now see, those four products have successfully saved onto my Ag Drive account. I can now go ahead and attach those onto jobs or invoices at the end. products can also be added onto AgDrive's mobile app. All we want to do is click our products tab here at the bottom, add top right hand corner, fill in the name, the billing price and also select a unit. And again you've got various options here depending on the products that you're adding on. And then you simply just want to add product here and that's now saved onto your AgDrive account ready to assign onto jobs and invoices. Thank you for watching this AgDrive tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via the details below and for any more useful tutorials, check out all our other videos here on YouTube.